Well, Northwest Premier Job Mohoro hasn't resigned from his position just yet, but the ANC has already named his replacement. The party's interim provincial committee announced Bushi Mape as the premier elect. Our senior reporter Sipa Mandla Goge joins us now live. Sipa Mandla, of course, we've been waiting to hear from Job Mohoro for a long time about his next move. You have him right there. Indeed, and we've been trying to ask him a simple question. Has he or has he not resigned, you know, ever since that announcement was made by the Interim Provincial Committee of the Governing African National Congress in the Northwest that he will be redeployed. In fact, they used the word he will be recalled. So he, we have not been able to talk to him, but he joins us now, the outgoing Premier of the Northwest, Prof. Job Mohoro. Thank you very much for your time. How are you feeling today? My pleasure. Oh, I'm okay, thanks. Good. I don't know about you. Well... We are good. We've been trying to get hold of you ever since that announcement was made. First of all, let's just recap. What did you make of that announcement by the IPC that you will be recalled? Well, uh, it came as a total surprise and shock to me. Uh, I would have expected a leader in the fight for democracy, such as our organization, would respect a fundamental principle of natural justice to say we have concerns about you or against you what do you have to say for yourself and that did not happen uh, a decision a verdict as well as sentence was simply imposed unilaterally have you or have you not resigned as we speak now no we have not i've not resigned when are you resigning um, once I've spoken to the president, which will be sometime next week. What do you want to say to the president? Well, I want to firstly uh, thank the president for the enormous uh, opportunity I've had to serve. And not everybody gets that kind of opportunity. Um, for the good part of my life, I have been in the public sector, setting up institutions, managing institutions, turning around public sector institutions. At some stage, I thought I knew it all. However, this time around, since 2018, I have come to appreciate and understand hmm. the extent of challenges within the public sector. You mentioned 2018, you were brought in in 2018 to stabilize the provincial government That's true. after the departure of Supramahuma Pilo. That's true. Do you regret ever accepting this deployment? Uh, no, it has been one of the best things that ever happened in my life. You've been accused of poor performance. Some of the reasons that are being advanced for your removal is that you have not turned things around here in the Northwest. Those who support you say those are flimsy reasons. What do you make of the reasons that have been Well, advanced? it is the most uh, mischievous, if not irresponsible, uh, accusation to make because the people uh, who have made these utterances would know very well that we have uh, achieved a number of things. For instance, in the health sector, we have built a number of clinics, uh, more clinics that operate uh, for longer hours. Uh, we have been able to fix our medical stores so that we have more medical supplies. Uh, we have done very well in terms of uh, preparing to fight uh, COVID-19. Actually, I started, uh, uh, you know, gathering the uh, EXCO uh, before the president announced on the 15th of March. We have uh, uh, also uh, dealt with uh, putting up classrooms, uh, number of classrooms, number of schools that we have built. We have also significantly done away uh, with pit latrines. So is that your legacy? Is that what you have done for the people of the Northwest? Well, it is the ANC's legacy um, under my, my leadership here in the government in the, provincial, in the province. Are you saying the reasons for your removal are political now that you are outlining what you say you have done for the people of the Northwest? Do you honestly believe that you are being removed for fair reasons or for political reasons? Fundamentally factional. Fundamentally factional. And, and, the need, and the need to make sure that uh, a strict person with regard to preventing looting uh, perhaps 
uh, you know, uh, is removed because that's the, I've been very consistent about, uh, you know, blocking and eliminating opportunities for looting. Who is being fictional, if you can give us names, please, for removing you? Well, if I see, if I see the extent to which uh, uh, the coordinator of the APC has been pursuing me, trying to micromanage me, trying to do things that are wrong, confusing deliberately, or perhaps he just doesn't understand the relationship between party and state. Uh, I've had to consistently demonstrate to him I'm not a yes man. Looking back at the way the IPC handled this matter, premiers are appointed by the president, by the way. One would assume that's one of the reasons you would want to engage with the president. But having reflected, I'm sure you have had about four to five days now to reflect. In all honesty, do you think your comrades could have done better in handling this matter? Yes, certainly. I mean, the one glaring glaring mistake, I wonder I should call it a mistake or just deliberate, to junior arise uh, the appointment or the sacking of a premier. I cannot understand why such an important intervention should be the business of IPC. I cannot understand that. Have they apologized to you? Pardon me? Have they apologized to you formally? Um, yeah, I've been seeing some flimsy uh, statements that purport to be apologies. I mean, they, they, they have just taken, they have eroded my fundamental rights. They, and not only myself, the people of the Northwest. Up to this day, from an accountability point of view, I'm yet to see the IPC saying to the people of the Northwest, we have removed the Premier of the Northwest for the following reasons. They simply have not done that, which means they don't care about that fundamental importance of accountability. You mentioned accountability now. Clearly, you are aggrieved with the way the IPC has handled this whole matter. You are saying to us you will be resigning next week after meeting with the president. What will happen after that? They say you will be redeployed. They seem to be changing the tone and the tune now, no longer recalled, but you will be redeployed. Do you know where you will be redeployed and would you accept any deployment after this? Well, before I look into that, I'm, I'm again, you know, astounded by the IPC having the responsibility or arrogating to itself the responsibility to deploy or redeploy me. They say one of the it reasons... It is simply are, laughable. They say one of the reasons you are being removed, those who are familiar with the politics of this province, the Northwest, they say you were brought in to stabilize the situation and they are making allegations that when you were in the administration, you became a supramahuma bilo person. Well, I don't know what that means. Quite honestly, those people who say that needs to have their head, heads red. I don't know how they, they arrive at that. Mm. What needs to be done to ensure that there is stability in the ANC in this province? Because if I recall, for a number of years now, there has not been stability in this province. And clearly, your removal, as you say, those who support you say it's fictional, you also say that. But clearly, this will further, you know, make things worse. Can we just, can we just start adhering and carrying out the directive, the resolutions of NASRA conference? That is what we need to do. Mm. But also, there is this reason that is being brought forward about the collapse of local government institutions in this province, municipalities, which is a national phenomenon, by the way, but you've been accused of not or of failing to turn around municipalities in this province, resulting in some big businesses threatening to leave this province. How do you respond to that? Well, question? the accusers are, are either deliberately mischievous or they are simply fundamentally ignorant. Firstly, local government is an autonomous system of government as provided for by section 154, 151 of the constitution. Secondly, local government is an extremely systemic challenge for the nation of South Africa, not for the Northwest province only. And so that narrow focus, narrow, uninformed, deliberately malicious focus on Mohoro must be put aside if we are serious 
about taking our country forward. We need to understand the systemic challenges of local government in our country and stop being so narrow, uh, narrowly and, 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 and in a petty way focused on an individual simply because I'm the affectionate target. Have you ever enjoyed political support from the IPC ever since you were deployed? Um, I have to think very hard about that. If we can give you a second to think about it, what will be your answer? Uh, um, I don't recall ever. Did you ever raise the issues that you are raising now about the coordinator of the IPC with the National League yes, of have, the Yes, I have written, I have written to uh, Lutuli. What did that. he say about it? Well, I've not had any response yet. Do you feel let down by the ANC in this whole saga? Uh, yes, I, I, wish, I wish I could be told what my sins are, but I'm told by the provincial and later by the national leadership that um, it was time for me to pack, my, to pack my bags and go. And yet they asked you to come in and help when you were minding your own business? Well, that is clearly so. Now let's talk about your success. Have you spoken to him? Are you starting with your handover process? Because clearly by Wednesday next week or Thursday you should have left this house. Yes, I've started mm. just to put together uh, issues that are important that need to be uh, looked at and prioritized. Any advice to him? Well, just make sure that you get your hands in understanding the challenges because they are you. Enormous. There's nothing simplistic about that. You mentioned corruption earlier on that you've been fighting corruption. There have been allegations that your office, the office of the Premier, was embroiled in allegations of corruption, 75 million unaccounted for. But also, most importantly, there's this allegation about the Premier's office running a rogue intelligence unit. They say you've been spying on opposition members, some of your comrades within the NC, and other people in and around the Northwest. Well, with regard to the alleged 750 million, if people could just do some basic homework, uh, as well as those people who claim to be journalists, if they could just understand the basics and check with me, because those things emanate from the fifth administration. I don't know why they are arrogated to, to myself. Maybe they are arrogated to the office of the Premier, but please don't single me, don't single me out. Any allegation about spying, it's a serious allegations, please report me to the uh, Intelligence Inspector General. Please, yeah. I beg. I've been begging. And nobody has ever reported you? No. Not to we, my knowledge. We are running out of time. Any parting shots to the people of the Northwest? Clearly, this is the last official interview we will have with you as the outgoing Premier of the province. Anything important to say to the people of the Northwest? It is very, very important that communities of the Northwest continue the spirit of no looting during the week of the 12th of July this year and really take up the struggles and make sure that they, 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 they play a more active role in terms of uh, growing and developing our province and doing so of course in collaboration with government. I think that is very very important if our province is to move forward. So what now for job? Um, rest. Thank you very much for time. My that pleasure. is the outgoing <laughs> Premier of the Northwest, Job Mohoro, who's been talking to us here following that announcement by the Interim Provincial Committee of the ANC in the Northwest that he will be redeployed. He has told us that he will be resigning after meeting with the President of the Republic of South Africa next week. And then we hope that we will be able to track the developments here in the Northwest as we take it, to, as we take it back to you in Johannesburg respect for now. All right, thanks so much for that. Appreciate it. Our senior reporter, Sipa Mandla Gorke. Job Mohoro also saying he wishes he was told what his sins were. So we'll have highlights from that interview, if you missed it, throughout the evening right here on ENCA.